Good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it's the 16th day of February, 50 degrees as I make this video. Right around 5 o'clock in the morning, some of you are going to have to deal with some fog issues on your morning commute this morning. That's a frightening sound. Many of you heard that sound yesterday. This is what it sounded like in East Montgomery at 4.05 yesterday afternoon as the tornado warnings were going off. And there were a lot of tornado warnings yesterday. According to the Storm Prediction Center, there were 21 tornado reports. That doesn't mean 21 tornadoes. 180, uh, 154 total severe weather reports. Even some tornadoes going on this morning in the state of Florida. Tornado warnings have been going off. Several National Weather Service survey crews will be out this morning, especially from the Weather Service Office in Mobile. It was in their area of responsibility where most of the trouble was. But now we are going to look forward and not backwards and look forward to some much nicer days ahead. All the big storms have moved to the East Coast. It's been a rough overnight in Florida, and it continues to be this morning. You see a secondary disturbance now behind the first one up in northern Arkansas into uh, Missouri. That'll drop by and uh, cause a few showers in the Tennessee Valley region, but skirt us by today. So I think we're dry, but we have some morning clouds and fog giving way eventually to some clearing. High temperatures in the lower 60s. Tonight's low 42. Southwest winds at 6 to 12 miles per hour today. Tomorrow's a nicer day with plenty of sunshine around. We're in the 60s to Tomorrow, and it looks like with a ridge of high pressure building in the upper atmosphere, the start of some warmer days, a nice warming trend. You see the cold air, the blue way up in Canada retreating, highs in the 70s on Friday across much of the southeastern U.S., in fact, much of the central U.S., and even 80s in Texas. So 62 uh, tomorrow, 68 on Thursday. 72 Friday into the low 70s on Saturday and Sunday, maybe a few showers, especially by late on Sunday as a little disturbance brushes by. In fact, here's that Sunday forecast with high pressure in the northern Gulf. Looks nice on the coast. Risk of a few showers developing from north Alabama into central Alabama. A better chance of showers, maybe some thunderstorms as we get into Monday night. That'll be our next storm system here. We're looking ahead on the GFS. We're seeing the weekend warmth, temperatures in the 70s, especially Friday through Sunday. And then uh, you see those blue bars on the bottom, more scattered showers returning to the forecast Tuesday through Thursday, especially starting Monday night. Uh, no freezing temperatures indicated on the GFS over the next 16 days, although we do note by the middle of next week we do cool down somewhat with highs in the 50s and lows back down in the 30s, but I don't see any Arctic intrusions for the next several days. That's great news. So, Severe Weather Awareness Week in Alabama continues, and we're very aware of severe weather since we've had about seven severe weather episodes since around Thanksgiving, and we're thankful for some calmer, nicer weather over the next few days. I hope you have a great day today. I'll see you again tomorrow morning at 6. Rich Thomas Weather.